Let me show you how to set up a simple MCP server with a tool and get it running in Claude Desktop. If you're not familiar with what an MCP server is, you can think of it like exposing a tool or set of tools to your AI assistant or agent. So I created a tool that counts the number of R's in a given word. And so here in Claude Desktop, I say use the count R tool to count the R's in strawberry. Here it says, I'll use the count R tool to count the number of R letters in the word strawberry. There it is. The word strawberry contains three letter R's. Very simple, but it should give you the basis to build any tool that you want. Let me show you how I did it now. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your IDE of preference. Today, I'm gonna be using Windsurf. Then you're gonna open up the terminal. So the first thing you're gonna do is create a new folder. So you can create it anywhere and you just type MKDIR and then the folder name. So count our server. From there, hit enter. I already have that folder created. So then I'm just going to CD into it. So count our server. Then the next thing you're gonna do is spin up a new environment. So to do that, you type Python dash M VNV dot VM and then hit enter. Then you activate the environment. And if you're on Windows, this is how you do it. Dot VM backslash scripts backslash activate hit enter. And you can see it is activated right there. Now, if you're on a Mac, this is how you do it. Source dot VM slash bin slash activate. But now you can see there is our environment and there we are in the right folder. The next thing you're gonna do is install the MCP library. So pip install MCP and then hit enter. And then it should install everything you need. And now you're ready to write your actual server. Create a new file, server.py. And it's gonna be a Python file, obviously. Now, this is a slightly more complex version of an MCP server than what is absolutely necessary. I just put some error handling around it and just a little bit more robustness. So let me walk you through what it is. The first thing you're going to do is import. So from mcp.server.fastmcp, import fastmcp. I also decided to make it a little bit more robust, import time, import signal, import sys. The number of lines you really need to get an MCP server up and running is pretty minimal, probably about less than a dozen. But again, I decided to make it a little bit more robust. Here we have the signal handler, just giving us some nice output and handling the control C gracefully. This is where the MCP server starts. So you want to declare a new variable and it equals fast MCP. And here are the parameters you need. First, you need a name. We're going to count it the count R. This is what you're going to reference when you're calling the tool. So you can, in a prompt, explicitly say, use the count R tool to do this. Then you're going to give it the host URL. So if you're hosting this on a server somewhere, this would be different. But since I'm running everything locally, I'm giving it our local host address, 127.0.0.1. And I'm going to specify the port at 5000. I'm also going to give it a 30 second timeout. Again, you probably don't need that, but I was running into a lot of issues setting this up. So I wanted to really make it resilient. Then we define our actual tool and that starts with at mcp.tool open and close parentheses. So we have a definition count. We're going to be passing in a word that's a string and we're going to output an integer, a little brief definition of what it is. And then we're going to do try. So if not is instance of a word. So just catching if we don't pass in a word, then return the word lower count R. So it counts the number of letters in the word and returns it as an integer. This can be any tool you want. You can check the weather using a weather server. You can wrap basically any API in this nice template that MCP provides you. So any single tool that you want to build, this is how you do it. And don't forget there are already servers full of MCP tools. I found this really nice GitHub repo. It's called Awesome MCP Servers, and it's by App Cipher. I'll drop this down in the description below. And it basically lists a bunch of awesome MCP servers, exactly what it sounds like. It tells you what they do, the documentation for it, how to use it, how to plug it in, everything. So back to the code, if we have an exception, we return it. Then at the end, you say if name is equal to main, and then we give it some output. So print starting the MCP server, and then you do mcp.run, and that spins up the server. All right, so once we have this all written out, we can start our server, and we do that by typing python server.py, and we see it right here, starting, SCP, starting MCP server, count R on, and then localhost 8080. 
But that's not it. We actually have to tell Claude Desktop where to find our MCP server. And so then we get the Claude Desktop config.json. So if you don't already have Claude Desktop, you definitely need it to use these MCP servers. You can't use it apparently through Claude Web. So here you go up to the little hamburger menu, file settings, go to developer, and then there's this little edit config button right here. So you click it and it links you directly to the file that you need to edit. Initially it's blank, it's gonna be a JSON file, and here's what you have to add. And I will also add this to the gist. And so what you're doing is first, you're just defining what the tool is. So MCP server is open brackets, define the tool, count R is the name. You're gonna give it the command to use to run it, which is Python. Then you're going to, this is the important part, give it a set of arguments, one of which needs to be the absolute path. So the direct file path to find this server, and this is where it's located for me. Then you're gonna give it the host, the port, and a timeout. You don't need all of these things, but I included them again just to be more robust. Once you have that up and running, go ahead, make sure your server is spun up, and then open up Claude Desktop. Now here's the weird thing, and let me know in the comments if I'm doing this wrong. Anytime I spin up an MCP server, Claude Desktop does not see it. I have to uninstall Claude Desktop, reinstall it, and then it sees it, which is super tedious and really shouldn't be. But once you reinstall Claude Desktop, you're going to come back to File, Settings, Developer, and you should see it right here. Here's the count R server, and it's running. Command Python, there's the arguments. So it should be up and running. And we can see this little hammer icon right here. If we click it, one tool available, count R. Count the number of R letters in a given word. So let's give it a try. Count the number of R's in the word strawberry using the count R tool. So we hit enter, and it's going to pop up a dialog to ask if you wanna use it. So allow tool from count R local, allow for this chat, allow once or deny. And we can see the specifics of it right there. So we're going to allow for this chat. Now it should use it, boom, we can see it was passed in. Here is the result word strawberry output three. The word strawberry contains three R's. So that's it. We have our server up and running. We have the tool defined. We have it plugged into Claude Desktop. This is how you use MCP. Remember, to get Claude Desktop to see the MCP server, I had to uninstall it and reinstall it, so don't forget to do that. I'll drop all the links in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.